Have you ever wondered who's really in charge of your household, you or your cat? It can feel like you're just a guest in their world, especially when your feline friend confidently takes over your routine, furniture, and attention. Cats are known for their independent, sometimes aloof personalities, but could your cat be taking things a little too far? Today, we're breaking down nine key signs that your cat thinks they're the boss, and more importantly, what you can do to reestablish some balance in your home. Let's jump right in. Does your cat wake you up at ungodly hours, meowing insistently or pawing at your face? Maybe you've barely opened your eyes, but your cat is already pacing, demanding breakfast. Cats are creatures of habit, and once they associate a specific time of day with food, they tend to stick to that schedule, whether you're ready or not. When your cat insists on being fed on their terms, it's not just about hunger. It's their way of asserting control, reminding you that they expect their needs to be met first, no matter the time. This can easily lead to a power struggle if you give in every time they wake you up for food. To regain some control, establish a firm feeding routine. Use an automatic feeder, which will train your cat to expect food at the same time every day, without relying on you to get out of bed at 5 a.m. Your cat will soon realize that food comes on a set schedule not whenever they demand. You're about to sit down after a long day, but your favorite spot on the couch is already occupied by a curled up ball of fur. Or maybe your freshly made bed is the new favorite lounging spot for your cat. It seems like no matter where you wanna sit or lie down, your cat has beaten you to it. Cats are drawn to comfort and they have an uncanny ability to claim the warmest, coziest spaces in the house. While it might seem like a harmless habit, when your cat consistently takes over your favorite areas, it's a subtle sign of dominance. They're essentially marking those spaces as their own, making it clear that they call the shots in your shared living space. So how do you maintain harmony without constantly being displaced? Create cozy, appealing spots just for your cat. A comfy cat bed near a window or a soft blanket in a quiet corner can encourage them to choose their own space instead of taking over yours. Eventually, you'll both have your designated spots without stepping on each other's toes. Has your cat ever sat across the room, silently staring at you until you acknowledge their presence? That intense, unblinking gaze is no accident. Cats often use body language to communicate, and the stare down is one of their favorite tactics to demand attention. Especially when you're busy with something else. It's like your cat is trying to telepathically tell you Stop what you're doing and focus on me. The longer you ignore them, the more insistent the stare becomes. You might even find them blocking your view of the TV or sitting on your keyboard determined to divert your attention. While it's tempting to immediately give in, try to set boundaries instead. Acknowledge your cat, give them a few moments of affection, but then redirect them to a toy or a scratching post. This shows them that while you value their attention, they can't control your every move. You've invested in the finest scratching posts, yet your cat insists on tearing up the furniture instead. From the couch to your favorite chair, no piece of furniture seems safe from your cat's claws. This destructive behavior isn't just about sharpening their claws, it's about marking territory. Scratching is a natural behavior for cats. It's how they maintain their claws, relieve stress, and leave visual and scent markers. But when they consistently target your belongings, they're asserting their ownership over those spaces, signaling that they're in charge of the household. To curb this behavior, you'll need to provide enticing alternatives. Position scratching posts in areas where your cat loves to scratch, especially near their favorite lounging spots. Make the scratching post more appealing by using catnip or placing their favorite toys nearby. When they use the post instead of your couch, reward them with treats or attention to reinforce the positive behavior. There's something about a closed door that drives cats wild. Whether it's your bedroom, bathroom, or a random closet, if it's closed, your cat will paw, scratch, or even yowl to get in. In their eyes, the entire house is their domain, and a closed door feels like an invasion of their authority. This behavior stems from both curiosity and the belief that they should have free reign over every part of their territory. They want to explore every room, and a closed door only fuels their determination to assert control. Instead of giving in every time they demand access, try redirecting their focus with a different activity. 
A new toy, interactive play, or even a treat can distract them long enough for you to maintain control over which areas are off limits. You've probably noticed that your cat responds to commands selectively, maybe when they feel like it, or maybe not at all. Unlike dogs who are generally eager to please, cats march to the beat of their own drum. They know exactly what you want them to do, but they choose whether or not it's worth their effort. This selective hearing is one of the clearest signs that your cat sees themselves as the boss. They'll come to you when they're ready and follow commands only if it benefits them. The key to improving this behavior lies in positive reinforcement. When your cat does respond to commands, reward them with treats or affection. Over time, they'll associate listening to you with getting something they want. If you've ever been woken up in the middle of the night by your cat pawing at your face or walking across your head, you know what it's like to have a boss cat. Cats don't really care if you're tired. They just know they want something and they want it now. Waking you up for food, attention, or playtime is a sign that your cat feels like they're in control of your schedule. They may even knock things over or make noise until you get up and respond to their demands. To manage these nighttime interruptions, try scheduling more playtime during the day to burn off excess energy. Additionally, setting up an automatic feeder for early morning meals can help reduce the number of times your cat tries to wake you up. You can also try closing your bedroom door, though be prepared for some initial protest. Cats naturally gravitate towards high spaces like shelves, the top of cabinets, or even the refrigerator. These elevated spaces give them a sense of control, allowing them to observe their territory from above like a king surveying their kingdom. If your cat constantly claims the highest points in your home, it's their way of asserting dominance over the environment. They feel safer and more powerful when perched up high, able to keep an eye on everything happening below. To keep this behavior in check, Provide plenty of tall cat trees or shelves designated just for them. That way, they can still indulge their need for heights without taking over your furniture or kitchen counters. It helps both you and your cat find balance in shared spaces. Cats are known for their aloofness, but it's one thing to ignore you and another to do it deliberately as a sign of control. When your cat follows you around all day but refuses to let you pet them or acknowledge your presence, it's not just shyness. It's a clear power move. This, I'll approach you when I want attitude is their way of keeping the interaction strictly on their terms. They're not rejecting you outright. They're just maintaining their independence. To handle this, respect your cat's boundaries, but ensure there's a mutual give and take. When they finally come to you for affection, reward them with a bit of extra love, but don't chase them when they're in one of their bossy moods. At the end of the day, your cat may think they're the boss, but with a little patience and consistency, you can regain control. Setting boundaries, providing plenty of stimulation, and establishing a routine will help keep both you and your cat happy. Have you noticed any of these boss-like behaviors in your cat? Share your funniest or most frustrating moments in the comments below. And if you want more tips on living with your feline friend, make sure to check out our next video. See you there.